All right. Well, welcome everyone. Uh, so to another lunch and learn session uh, here at SafeTrack. So my name is Ross Anderson. So I'm the client services uh, manager here at SafeTrack. And what we're going to uh, go through today is our tags feature. Um, so what are tags? So tags are basically created to help uh, manage some of the sort of complexities that come up when we're doing our, our training and reporting and everything. So um, sometimes the way that we set up our safe track hierarchy doesn't perfectly match some of the more inform uh, useful information in regards to your system. You know, managers maybe across multiple teams, um, different departments, even countries, so on like that. Um, especially temporary workers, different brands, etc. Sometimes as you're rolling out your more complex training programs, it can be tough to to capture all that in a really easy manner. Um, and likewise, when it comes to the reporting itself. Um, sometimes you really just want to really quickly analyze some of these these groups, which might cut across multiple teams. Um, and that's the sort of stuff that we can use tags uh, to help address. So as I mentioned, we can streamline rolling out and reporting. So tags allow you um, to send out modules to users that we've grouped with the tags, um, save time with enrolling people, with doing reporting, everything like that, uh, as well as with our dashboards. So without much further ado, I'll get into it. So with tags, when they are enabled on your system and to enable them, please speak with your account manager or client services representative, you will see there's a tags option here. So this obviously ours is full of tags, but yours will be blank for now. So this is where we can add our tags into the system. And all tags come in what's known as categories. And the categories are what you can set yourself. And the categories are in additional brackets called features. So what does that mean? Basically, if we wanted to say add a category, we can see that it belongs to a feature. So in terms of the features, you'll have survey if you are um, subscribed to surveys. Otherwise, you'll have training and user. So survey tags is obviously when you want to create tags that are specific to sending out any surveys through the SafeTrack platform. Training tags and user tags, there's a bit of overlap. Generally for training, we recommend using things which are related to people's training. So something like WHS, managers level, so on like that. Whereas user tag could be something like um, a department someone is in, for example. So let's say I want to make a category for my training tags. And let's say what's really important to me when I'm sending out training is something like level of employment or um, position. Maybe a better term, because position. So I've already got a tag for position, which is great. So I might just call this one position two, just for the sake of it. So we can see here that we now have this category or this bracket or bucket for these tags. And then I can go in and create a tag. And if I look at all of my tags here, I'll just go and look at my training tags. And I can see that these are all of the te different tags I have. And here's the categories they're under. So we can see here, if I look for you know position, I can see I've already got tags for employee or manager. If I wanted to add those, I can just add them in like this. I'll select my feature again, my category, you know, position, position, and then I've got employee and manager. So I might just go man, manager two, for example. In terms of the specifics of adding tags, you know, your client services representative will be happy to run through a short session with you. Um, we can also batch import tags. Obviously, if you have a whole bunch of them, don't need to add them in one by one. Um, you can just push them all into the system. And then additionally, you can then mass upload those tags to your users as well. So once we have these tags created, and they can, I want to stress again, be literally anything you want, whatever you think is going to be important to help you manage your training and your reporting. Once we've created these tags, an example of how they might be used once we've added them to our users is if we might go to enrollments here. So it's quite typical, especially in Australian organizations, when you're rolling out work health and safety training, that you have multiple levels. Example would be Victorians needing a different version of the course. Uh, New Zealanders needing a different version of the course. If you have um, a division over there, as well as managers needing a different version of the course, as well as the employees. So traditionally, when we'd been managing that, we'd had to rely on setting up your safe track hierarchy to distinguish people by you know different groups and sweet um, countries, states, and whatnot. And that might not actually fit into the reporting structure that you have or that you want within the system. So with tags, when we go to propagate a suite see that we can actually find users using the hierarchy as normal, but also via tags. So here again, we see our features. So I'll select training here. You can see here the tags. My recently used ones will come up. And I just type any letter into this box. So for example, W. 
brings up all of these WHS. So I might go WHS. And if I then search for this, um, you know, and then I'll select one of my WHS suites, for example, this will now bring up every user that has been tagged with WHS. But let's say I also want to send this to my managers. So I can tick this and or. So this functionality is really cool because it allows us to either combine the tags or search them separately. So if I go manager and I leave this as a default, it will bring up everyone who has either this or this tag. If I set it to this, it will look for people that only have both of these tags. So if I preview this, this is now bringing up everyone that I have tagged as WHS and manager. So it allows me to easily send my work health and safety manager level courses to my users without having to you know, go through and deliberately check, run a list or anything like that, which we've had to do traditionally. And again, you can have any combination of this. I'll go New Zealand as well, preview. You can see this is now bringing up all of my staff who have each of these tags. So if I needed to roll out training to my New Zealand managers, I've selected, I've selected them via these tags. I found the suite that I've made. I've set it up. All I need to do, send enrollment, and that's done. So I've just managed to, you know, relatively complex rolling out of my training to these, you know, to this group of my New Zealand work health, work health and safety managers have just been done really simply. So that's one of the really powerful aspects of tags is how you can use it to manage these complicated rollouts. And like I mentioned before, you could have tags for anything. Um, if you wanted to send it via the, just clicking an X here to remove them, uh, I'll just print, you know, you could have a data center or, you know, directors, literally anything, right, that you want to use for sending out your training. We can use the tags, you can select both and or again, and use that to propagate it to your users. So it just really helps to simplify how we can manage the, some of the more complex training requirements. You might even create bespoke groups. Um, you may have a training plan which has you know, group one, group two, group three, and it, someone in group one gets six courses, group three gets two, group two gets four, something like that. You could tag just your users as group one, group two, group three, and propagate the training on that basis as well. Um, what does a tag look like on a user? So if you have the tags enabled and you just go to a user, you can see that they'll have an additional part here for tags, just an additional tab. And this is where all of their tags reside. So the reason we built it out with all of the different features is so that it allows you to have a really complex structure of tags if you want. Um, and you have people that sort of fit into multiple groups for different characteristics. So this could be for reporting, training, as I said, surveys and so on like that um, to propagate out to your users. To add a tag on an individual basis, again, you can just type it in here. Um, I can X to click it off and so on like this, but you can also batch update your users and mass add tags to them as well. Just the same as if you're doing a normal batch update. If you have any questions about that, um, your client services rep is happy to help you out with that. Um, so the other really good things that tags are useful for is our reports. So again, if you're done in your normal reporting, for example, your course completion report, you might want to just look at everyone who is, um, Again, we'll say New Zealand. I'll be looking at everyone in New Zealand. Um, you just want to check your total compliance for your New Zealand staff. So now this report, despite you can see all of these people being in different groups, it will it kind of it's using the tag to do a cross section of all of your different groups in the hierarchy and just pick up everyone that is New Zealand. You see here these people, every tag that someone has will appear in this report. So you can see here, this is just pulling up all my New Zealand, but it also has the other tags on it as well. So that's really handy for when you're just running your general reports. You can see the full tags that belong to all of the different users, the user tags and training tags. We can add in the survey tags and so on and so forth if they have them. Um, so that when you're doing your reporting, you can easily see which tags belong to which users and where those users belong in your overall hierarchy. Um, again, this has the and or capability. And like I mentioned, if you still are running a traditional report, say on the hierarchy for a completion report, the tags are still useful in that then, like I said, they come through in the reporting in the other columns, which allows you to really easily, again, see who belongs where, who's a manager and who isn't, so on like this. So even though this is a traditional completion report, I can say that this person's in New South Wales, this person's in Victoria, this person's in New South Wales and ACT, just because, <laughs> that's just because I've set it up. It's not a real example, but so on like that. 
I'd be able to see, you know, this person's a manager and everything like that without, again, having to check a staff list or anything like that. Um, that's where tags become really, really powerful is in managing that level of training. Um, but that's pretty much it for a brief overview. I can see we've had some questions come through. So here's one here. Is there a limit to how many tags you can create? So no. So you can see here in this tags area for our demo instance, you can see there's quite a large amount, there's 75. You can just continually add tags again and again and again. Um, there's no limit, which is part of the reason why cre we created the categories and features. So that especially if you have multiple people in your organization adding tags and so on like that, it allows you to still manage them quite easily from the top down. Um, if we have multiple companies, can we tag by ABN? Yes. So you could do tags, but ABN, um, as mentioned, department, again, literally anything that is useful to you that you want to add to a user or to do training or anything like that, you can have as a tag. Um, how do I get access to this feature? So um, if you want tags enabled, just let your client services uh, rep or account manager know, and we can just enable it and then set up a training with you. Uh, there's no additional cost to set up and run um, any tags. Um, and another one, oh, updating tags for existing users. We, we covered that, um, we can go in a bit more detail, but in terms of if you're running your standard batch update to update user details, what you'll see, and this is a feature that will be as well in the um, feature that will be as well in the um, user upload report, is that just towards the right of it, you'll see there's an area where we can add tags in here. Let me just drag this across. See these columns, feature group, feature training, feature user. So as mentioned, the tags are grouped into features. I would put my training, I could put manager. So you need to enable it here. I could put manager here, um, you know, uh, employee or whatever in those areas, but your client services manager will be happy to uh, work through that with you. Um, and I'll just give you guys another minute if you did have any more questions. Alrighty. Well, if you did have any additional questions that come up after this, you know, please feel free. You can either contact myself um, or yeah, your client services rep or your account manager. Um, we're happy to run through uh, any of that with you. Uh, otherwise, thank you so much for attending um, and we'll see you at next week's uh, Lunch and Learn. Thank you.